So for the final thing for our pebbles, I want some pebbles to be higher than others. So in other words, we have to move them towards the normal and this will make it look less consistent. So uh, when we distribute points on faces, which looks like this, uh, what I want to do is I want to set position. Anytime we're moving points, we're setting position um, using an offset of the normal, uh, which you're gonna see moves them upwards because the normal is pointing at 0, 0, 001. That's how we isolated it before, uh, but I don't want it to be this uh, strong. So to modify this, I'm going to scale this effect, this uh, normal, I'm gonna scale the vector by a random value, which actually creates a distribution of a cylinder. Um, but I want these to go up on the normal between 0% and maybe like 10%, uh, which will be more visible when we instance on points. So you can see some points are on top of each other and some are not. So I can kind of do something like this. And let's actually see this in the context of the pot. So you can see some of them are kind of going outside the, the pot a little. I want this to be a little less strong, so 0.02, and maybe it can go downwards to negative 0.01. So um, in other words, what this has done, so let's see the before and after, is it went from this flat thing to some of them are raised and some of them are not. Let's go from negative 0.01 to 0.01. So it's a bit of a subtle effect, but it gives it more like three dimensionality. Uh, that makes it look more realistic. And by the way, I think that's the final component of our modeling. Um, so uh, in the next tutorial, it's not over. Uh, let's do a bit of cleanup and then let's end this uh, thing for good. Oh, maybe one thing I should do before we end this is for the UV sphere, uh, we can run a set shade smooth just so they look like nice pebbles. So let's do some cleanup and I'll see you on the next tutorial for that.